one of the reasons it's really easy to get started and get auto going is that you don't need any trenching or running a power line directly to the device. There's an onboard solar panel, you see this right here at the top, and if you have about three hours of direct sunlight on average a day, that should be enough to power the device and allow you to water and apply solutions on a regular basis. The LED light right here on the top lets you know if your solar panel is getting light and is charging. So if we block that, you'll see that the red LED light goes off, we expose it to sun again, and it'll turn back on. Now, when you do receive your uh, auto device, when you receive your auto device, you should charge it for at least 24 hours and then monitor your battery's health through the first week of usage to really make sure that your solar charge is enough to keep the device topped up as it's being used and applying solutions. So in addition to the onboard solar panel, there are also two other ways to power your auto device. Both of those ways plug into this waterproof plug right on the bottom of the device. So if we pull this out and we remove the waterproof cover, it'll explode a plug that we can plug either a provided 50 foot power cord that you could put right into the wall. So I'll show you that right now. So inside each auto device, if you lift up the lid as it's delivered, is a 50 foot cable. One side plugs right into your wall, 50 feet that you may route really nice and clean. And then the other side plugs directly into that waterproof plug that I showed you here. So see that, you bring those together you connect that, put this back in location, mount your device, and then run this and plug it onto your uh, wall. In addition to the onboard solar panel and the provided 50 foot cable, there's also an available external solar panel that you can connect into that same waterproof plug that's on the bottom of the device. So let me show you that. So this solar panel here is uh, really useful if you're trying to route um, the, the, the device or you can get sun from under a, under a tree or under an awning. And it does come with a 16 foot cable. So you have a solar, you have a bracket which attaches to the solar panel and then you could mount that. And then the plug for the solar panel plugs into the auto device in the same location where the other uh, external plug goes. That's right here on the bottom. That plugs in and then that's it, you're done. From there, you take your external solar panel and a provided bracket, you route it away from the shade under the tree or an awning and you install it. So this is a pretty good example of where you'd need an external solar panel. So. This device here is really close to the fence. And at this property, the sun comes right from behind the fence and it tracks this way. So it never really makes it where this device gets direct sunlight. So how we can remedy that is we can use this external solar panel and clear the fence by placing it right on the top, making sure we maximize the amount of time where the sun is perpendicular to the panel. Okay. So let's first start by mounting the bracket on the general area where we want to install the, the panel. So the bracket comes with uh, two wood screws that are on the inside of it. And they also come with two plugs if you're going into masonry. So I'll just use the wood screws here because I'm going right onto the fence. All that at the top. And again, using a drill and a Phillips fit, I could just mount that directly at the top. Okay. 
when we have the bracket securely into place, we can remove this top bit. Um, this right here screws right onto the solar panel. So give it a couple of turns. And then when you feel it, begin to bottom out. Tighten this nut right here, get it secure. And then from here, you wanna take the panel and then you could change the angle. We'll go with around a 30 degree there. And really what you're trying to do is you wanna get as perpendicular, as much perpendicular rays onto this solar panel as, as possible. Now that we have the uh, external solar panel securely in place, we'll take the other end of it. And then plug this right into the available waterproof plug on the bottom of the device. As soon as you plug that in, you can see now the unit has began to charge.